this video. Um, the Lord gave me a dream about the rapture about a couple weeks ago, and it's 3:10 in the morning. It's September 1st. I gotta wake up in a few hours to go to church, but He's waking me up. I mean, I've, I'm up, and he, I guess He for a, long, for a couple of days He's been telling me to post this dream. Okay, so what what what, what to do? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna record it and post it. All right. So the dream goes, I was, we were in this big church, and right where the altar was, it was this big window, kind of like a stained glass window, it was long and tall, but it was wide, uh, but it wasn't stained glass, it was clear. So, we're, uh, there's, man, there's a few hundred, if not thousands of people there, and I, I happened to look over and I seen a, a cousin of mine's, and I waved at him, I was happy that he was there, and, uh, so then the, the, the preaching the preacher began to preach and as he was preaching in front of this window, he was talking, he was preaching and, and one of the things he said is, um, the Lord could come at any moment or something like that. The Lord could come at any moment, even now. And out of some out of nowhere I just heard this this just long trumpet like sound. I mean I automatically knew what it was. And I was I was just in shock, and then I was excited that you know it was time that the Lord was coming for us. And everyone heard it, and some people were happy. I ran over to my cousin. I said, "It's time! It's time! I'm leaving! I'm leaving!" And I was just so excited, and he looked at me with with a real sad face and put his head down because he wasn't. Um, I guess he wasn't saved. So I ran back to where I was, and. We all, like, a lot of the church just huddled in front of the altar and just looked out the window. And I remember saying, looking at myself, and like, am I white? Am I completely white? Meaning that am I clean of my sins? And, and then I said, you know what? Jesus is coming for me. I'm good. I made it. And then as we're looking, the sky was like blackened. It was like real dark and cloudy. And then just bright light. I'm talking about brighter than the sun just shined. And we're all just like looking out the window and out of nowhere as I'm looking out the window at that big uh, window just people just start disappearing from from around me and I'm like whoa so I'm like I'm happy I'm like hey hey come get me come get me and there was this person I think I'm not sure if it was a male or female was right next to me I'm standing here waving my arms and it's and, he, and he's he's right here or she's right there. So as is, as that's happening, I, it kind of went slow mo, you know. The, the, I can't. It kind of went in slow motion. And I got and then I got to see this angel just come down and grab this person next to me. But it came back slow. It came down slow mo. It had wings, and the wings were so beautiful. They were made out of pure gold, pure gold. Each feather was metal, but it still had its uh, density of flapping around or whatever. And each, but each, each, uh, each feather was so sharp; it was sharp like a razor blade. Each feather was sharp. So as I seen this, so just in slow motion, I'm like waving, you know. And then when I noticed the wings, I kind of got scared, and I brought my hands in even more just in case it picked someone else up. I didn't want to get cut. So, uh, and then people are disappearing. <laughs> By this time, the trumpet stopped. By the time we looked up, you see that bright light, the trumpet sound stopped. And as I'm waving, I'm like, come get me, come get me out of nowhere. This, I just feel this pressure, this angel just comes before me and grabs me by the back of my, like this. It grabs me like this, like it's holding on to me. It holds on to my ribcage and it just pushes um, like, and we're just, I'm, I'm flying through the sky, through, I, I went through the, through the house, through the sky, and I'm going through the, I'm going through outer space, I'm seeing uh, stars and planets, I'm passing, and we're going so fast, we're going like a billion miles per hour, just, you know, and the inertia of, you know, so, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like, you know, this is me, and it, since it was, it grabbed me right here. It was like pushing me. Like I was, I was just like, 
like it was, it was going so fast. So I, I didn't feel pain, but I felt the force of like my my spine, my back kind of bending. But it didn't hurt. But I felt the force. So mind you, we're, we're zooming so fast. You know, I didn't see no one else. After that point, I didn't see no one else until I got until until I got to heaven. When we got into heaven, but before I get to that, I'm just like I said, I'm seeing stars. I'm pa I'm past literally passing my stars, and I'm seeing the planets, and then the color was, ah, the colors were so beautiful as as we're passing this right. Then we end up in this. Uh, we end up in this room-like place. It looked like a. Um, it was it was a room, but it was a big room. It was like we were in, in a house type thing. And I just I, I just appeared there. I'm standing. I'm like looking around, and I just seen a couple, I've seen family members, uh, you know, just there. Then out of nowhere, just people just. People just keep uh, appearing. People that I don't even know are appearing, you know. And I'm hugging all of them. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, we made it. Yes, thank you, Jesus. You know, I was so happy about it. And even people that I don't expect, I didn't expect to make it, I seen them there. So don't judge who goes to heaven to hell because you don't know uh, what they said in their heart. Only God judges the mind and the hearts. So only they know. So even if someone does something bad, you know, God's, Jesus' blood covers him. You know, that doesn't give you a reason to go ahead and sin, but nonetheless. So, then I seen one of my aunts. She walked over into this other room. And it looked kind of like a kitchen type. There was a table there. And um, by the table, it was long. By the table, there was uh, just a wall. A, not a wall, but a window. Like a sliding door, but it wasn't sliding. It was just a whole glass. And it was just a window from top to bottom. And uh, she looked outside, but when I looked out there, I was like, whoa, it was so beautiful. I seen this part of, had snow, this part was sunny, you know, mountains over there, it looked so beautiful. And I was just like, and clouds. And I was amazed, I was like, wow. I don't know, for some reason, I kind of thought I seen the clouds look dark, I don't know. So then my aunt asked, uh, looked out, looking out the window, they asked me a question and directed it toward me. And she said, we're, we're, in, we're in heaven, right? And I said to her, yeah, we're in heaven. I said, you're kind of right, we're in part of heaven. I, and, and, and at that moment, this uh, angel appeared behind her. The angel that appeared behind her was the one that brought me up. Oh, I forgot to mention, as we're flying, as, she, as this angel was taking me up, I wanted to look at the angel, so I'm like, you know, we're flying, and I happened to look back, but the angel, I didn't get to see the, 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 the physical features, I just seen like a silhouette type thing. But anyways, but then after, you know, back to when we're in this kitchen area, the angel showed up behind my aunt, and the angel was feminine, it was, it was a female with, um, like a blondish, brownish hair, light, beautiful skin. And um, so then, I, as I was telling my aunt, I said, "Yeah, this is this is kind of like this is kind of like heaven." I said, "But we didn't even get to the gates yet, to the city yet. This is this is just paradise. It's a long way before we get over there." And she was like, "Are you?" She's like, "For real?" And I said, "Yeah." I said, I said, "Even ask the angel." And she turned around, looked at the angel, and I said, "Right." And the angel looked at her and shook his, shook her head, "Yes." And then she said something to me. She goes, then my aunt said, I know a secret. And I'm thinking, okay. She said, yeah, I believe she said, Jesus told me a secret and he told me to tell you. And I was like, okay, well, what's the secret? She said, and I don't know if she used the term money or riches. I'm going to lean more toward riches. She said, the Lord told me you have riches up here. And I'm thinking, riches? Why would I need riches up here? You know, I don't know. I mean, the guy has a reason for it. But you know, the Bible does talk about you know when you do good for people and you help them out and and 
you know, when you do stuff for people, do it, but do it in quiet. Don't go boastful. Hey, look, I did this for this person. Yeah, I gave him that. Because when that person says to you, "Oh, you did a good job," that's your, that's your, that's your, um, that's your gift for doing that. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord says, "Don't store up riches on earth, but riches in heaven." So I guess I did, I did riches, and I will continue. I guess I did something to acquire riches. And I will continue. The thing I don't do is when I do do something nice for people, I don't tell nobody. I, I, and I I barely tell my wife because I, I, that's always on the back of my mind. Do things do, When you do things, do things in secret so that only you and the Lord know. So that's stuck in my head. That's like <laughs> burned in my, 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 my mind and my heart. So I don't usually tell nobody nothing when I do do things because... Hey, I'm not going to boast about it. If I do something nice, I do something nice. Oh, the Lord knows. And I try to do nice things for people, but I don't tell nobody so that the Lord... So I guess those are the riches she's referring to. Why do we need, reach, why do we need riches up there? I don't know. I think the Lord just told me right now why. I think he said it's a testimony. So everything, every riches you have up there is because to show that you did something down here. And not to boast about it, but to show that you did something good for your fellow man or whatever you did down here. Preach to somebody, bring someone to Christ, you get a reward. You bring someone to Christ, you get a reward. You do something nice for something, you get a reward. You do something to somebody who don't like you, you get a reward. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like I said, once again, that's why Jesus said, um, don't store riches on earth, store riches in heaven. I didn't quite understand that till now. i sharing this dream with you. So I guess it's just part of my testimony. Uh, Cause I was thinking this whole time I was thinking, um, since I had that dream, I'm thinking, why do I need riches up there? What's the point of that? I guess now I have the answer. So, anyways, so meanwhile, as we're in this section of this house paradise, I started thinking of my wife. But I did, I do, I did know deep down inside that people were being transported into other parts of that building. That um, that I didn't go to, you know, what I'm saying like people were appearing here next to us, and I was hugging everybody. Then I went over to the kitchen. People were still appearing in the room, but I know there was other rooms that people were appearing. So I was thinking about that. I was like, can she be in one of those other rooms? So I got up, I stood up, and I began pondering this, and I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm. And since I gave it, since I gave it a lot of thought, I woke up. But I was in, while I was while I was in that dream, I was convinced that that was reality. Matter of fact, it was more than this reality right now of me talking to you. This physical reality. It was. This is a dream compared to that. This life is a dream compared to that. So when I woke up, I woke up in my bed and I was like, I got up and I looked. I was sitting in my bed and I'm like, what the heck am I doing here on my bed? Why am I why am I in my bed? Because I was so convinced that that was real. And then after I come to realization that I was on my bed and this was a dream, I got upset because I, I'm 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 one of those people that are waiting so bad for the Lord to come. I want Him to come right now. I want to hear the trumpets and leave. You know what I mean? And uh, granted, I know that's a selfishness in me. The Lord can still give me more time for other people to be saved. You know? Okay, that's I you know I, 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 that's good. But just the selfish part of me just wants to leave. So anyways, I, I'm in this, I'm in my bed and I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, why am I here? I thought that was reality. And I realized that it was a dream. And then I, 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 I prayed, I, I, I pray, I was praying and I said to the Lord, why are you teasing me? <laughs> so I got a little taste of what the rapture would be. Um, that's basically all that happened. I was in the church. Trump is down, I looked out the window, and then like, we got transported. The dream started with me being in this, walking into this church with many people. Now, that's the testimony, or, oh, I did have a couple of months ago, I did have a dream about the rapture again, uh, prior to this dream, but it had to do with what, what would I feel, what would happen if I was to have stayed. So if you guys want to see that dream, uh, that dream, uh, you guys want me to tell you the dream, shoot a comment, you know, let me know, and I'll record that dream and I'll post it. By the way, uh, just for the Lord, is me, 
and my name's Neville, N-I-V-L-E, L-E, and uh, let me see what else, if anyone is curious on how to get saved, how to leave for Jesus, write me a message, write a comment, say hey I want to get saved, or whatever it is, and I'll walk you through it, um, basically confess the Lord, he believed that he died, resurrected, but uh, nonetheless, set, shoot me a message and I'll respond to you. And I believe that's the end of my dis the, the dream. I don't think I left anything out. Uh, if I did leave anything out, I'll, I'll add it later. All right. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with you. God bless you. And good night, good evening, whatever. Good morning, whenever you watch this. Bye bye.